number four. There you are. Welcome back to What the Podcast. I'm Ryan. I'm John. Together we are. Ryan and John. On the couch as always. Kara Tafoya. Hee <laughs> Annie the Scove Scoveman. Hi. Always fresh, never frozen. Yes. Just four idiots trying to figure out life. John. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's a week long event. It is really like. Unfortunately. More like uh, some sort of week long event. Like uh, Coachella or something, right? Shark Week. Shark Week. Better. Shark you week. know what? It is Shark Week. I think it actually is. Also, <gasps> Shark Week. I thought, oh my God, we should have done Shark <laughs> Week. Wait. That's that's no, definitely it's shark, not week. shark Week. Shark Week started the Look seventh. it up. Look it up. Look it up. I mean, we don't have cable, also, so it I'm doesn't matter. Gonna... Crumble's doing mini cookies this week, too. They're trialing mini cookies. You know Crumble, the cookie place? I'm familiar with Crumble. They have mini smaller. cookies, but they're only catering. They're, yeah, they're doing so they're, them <gasps> retail. They're smaller them. ones, and uh, they're trialing it for the week of my birthday, which I thought was really sweet of them to do. Ready for a hot take? Go ahead. Not a fan. No, you don't like Crumble. Yeah, honestly, Not a fan I could have guessed that. I think I'd like the mini because it's like the perfect dose. I feel that what Crumble has going for it is like the drop, you yeah. know, like the new flavor sure. drop I think is amazing. Here's what um, I like about crumble though. You get, my you get six cookies, right? Yeah. You cut them up into little slices and you try each little one with a little slice. I, I also like yep. that. Yeah. More often than not, cold. Oh yeah. Well, not a fan. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm a hot cookie guy oh, till I die. That's good. Well, that's I mean, I respect that. There's nothing I can yeah, say. Yeah. I mean, John, happy birthday, Thank 28 you. years old. We have a little surprise for you. Oh, go ahead. Um, all of us here on the podcast have yeah, gathered yeah. the funds. Wow. You are going to be Instagram verified ah, the ah, whole summer. Yeah. All summer. Woo-hoo. You are not going to be Thank John you. Albright, the loser. Thank you. You are going to be John Thank Albright, the, the verified jack- winner. Wow. Yeah. That is so sweet. Right. That's guys. what it means. You win. Yeah, you win. Instagram. Can I say I'm sure. very surprised? I, I no know. Idea. And not because... <laughs> We came in barreling in, asking you to open your phone and give us your uh, driver's wow. license. Yeah. Turns out when you get you pay for the verification, you they actually have to verify that it's you. Yeah, that's weird. That was wild. Didn't that re- didn't really think about awesome, that. Awesome, you guys. They're like, yeah. can you give us the social security card, passport, or driver's license? We're like, I was like, no, Ooh. that's private information. Oh, oh. I won't get it. Oh, oh, guess, I guess it's how they verify you. That's how they verify you. Um, yep. Wow. So wow. We did so, have to use your card, but and it we was. Did um, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So stupid. Yeah. You thought uh, I thought it was going to be a lot easier to like infiltrate you. Well, it usually is. Turns out, no. This guy's usually like is. a steel trap. Of well, information. I, I, I to be fair, I set you up well because I left my phone upstairs unattended. You yeah. actually didn't. I, I swiped. Oh, it off you swiped you. it. Yeah, okay. it was sitting right here oh, on the table. Oh, that's what I wondered. I, yeah, I was going to be impressed. I was. I, was I took it and took it upstairs, and I was going to. Like try get to Jordan. get into it, get Jordan. <laughs> Turns out Jordan asleep. Jordan's known for uh, weeks. Yeah, out, we brought cold. Jordan into this idea weeks ago. I love Which it. It's funny because we record at uh, four <laughs> o'clock in the afternoon, so <laughs> yeah. that's bizarro. Wow, thank you guys. You're welcome. Really, I you've don't arrived. Know what I did to deserve it. Well, I you appreciate that. are verified now, so you thank can do you. whatever you want. Really, use that clout. Yeah, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. Yeah, how are you gonna misuse your influence this summer? Thank you, thank you for saying that. Yeah, um, I don't know exactly yet. I haven't thought about it because honestly, I know, I, I know, I didn't I didn't know it was possible. It's honestly. all happening so didn't quickly know it was for you. So I'm gonna have to think about some ways to just misuse that. Yeah, you are. In ways, yeah. yeah. I mean, what what can you do when you're verified? I mean, it's more just a status symbol. Well, apparently now you can pay for it. So oh, very does nice, it very nice, mean very nice, anything? Nice. No, it's a good question. To answer your question, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Um, does it mean sure is funny yeah. thing? Sure it helps. Fun. It helps when people are trying to search for a certain person. Oh, okay. So I'm very and then searchable. they see the blue check and they're like, "Oh, this is definitely his account." John, okay. your SEO is going to be great Guys, after this. I what hate to break mean? it to you. Search engine optimization. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to have to bow out of this podcast because my fame will be. Yeah, you'll just, just be way it, too. You know, too. Which, I mean, you're already arriving, wow. but I yeah. am arriving. People have been saying that for months. <laughs> Annie's pissed. What's up, Annie? Go ahead. No, I'm, I'm just trying to focus on breathing. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. fine. I didn't want to have to get up and get my allergy medicine. Oh. oh. You have allergies? Tis the season. What the heck? Dang. Is summer uh, an allergy that? season? It is. Pollen. Pollen. End of spring into summer. I feel that it's year-round for pollen. me, but... I feel like it's year-round. I have. I feel like I have weather allergies. Mm-hmm. When the weather changes, yeah. it's awful. That's what mine is, too. So like when it randomly gets hot or like it randomly rains, yeah, I just like automatically pop like, some pills on our podcast. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah, I love chase it with pills. some Nutrilife or whatever that is over yeah, there. Okay, <laughs> Doesn't matter. 
Look at that. There's the blue check. It's amazing. Did it go? Well, oh, I think it did. I know. I saw a blue check, but it's not like on my profile. Let me see. Yet. I'm going to look on your Instagram. I had to look up from like another profile, but it did have a little blue check for a second, but now it's gone. Well, they have to make sure you're you. Oh, okay. So they're probably like they're probably analyzing like, who your is this guy. They're like, he's, there's license. no way he, he's worth it. It'll be right next to your name when it is. Okay. All right. Well, then never mind. It's not up. But when I when I searched, I it, saw that too. There was a little, a little blue, blue dot. check. I think that was like a new oh, post. Oh, new post. That's my bad. That's my bad. I went. Wow. I have been posting because so. when I type John, I see you, but I also see John Mayer. John Mayer's got the check. Well, of course. listen, not, not for should. long. Not for long. Well, he can afford it. He certainly, certainly yeah. can he's it. paying for it. We did sure. have to yeah, scrape what's, together the what's funds. What's the line between? An actual celebrity who's given the check, do they still give out the check or is it like... Yeah, there's. remember there was like... Oh, no, that was Twitter. There was I've, like a white check versus a blue check now. But oh, right. yeah. White I, check think it's like probably all, I think it's all now has to be paid for. No, I think if you were a celebrity and you already had one, I feel you're that probably you're probably grandfathered, grandfathered in. in. Thank you. You really think they're going by grandfather rules? <laughs> also, I feel On like... the meta... Yeah, I think <laughs> on so. On the metaverse. I think you know what? You're they, right. They always, I mean, they always I'm sure they could do whatever they want. Like, if any celebrities right? opted to not, you know, be verified. But oh. do you think celebrities care about that kind of stuff? Obviously, we care about that stuff. We're at the bottom. No. They care about it because it's fake accounts. Because mm-hmm. people will make fake oh, accounts of them all the time. That. Sure. So people that's how you making, know. True. People are making a lot of fake accounts about I have me, seen a so. lot of fake John, like, yeah. alt accounts. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. So thank you for doing that. Yeah. Specifically leading up towards lip sync. Yeah, a lot of people yeah, are lip-sync. like <laughs> undermining the lip sync post. Yeah. Oh, gosh. More like it's the time they of keep. Year, folks. It's the fan accounts. Yeah, it's, it's the at lip stink. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, yeah. don't say that. No, I don't think it's start <laughs> Somebody's going to make that. Uh-huh. Probably Ryan's probably gonna me. Make yeah, it. I'm totally making probably that. Ryan's All the worst moments. Scrap his whole lip sync and make it that lip stink. I'm just going to do a smear campaign of the competition you won last year, which is. Well, yeah. Because now it sucks. Well, now it's late. Now anyone that's competing. Not Lame. cool. <laughs> Can Tyler and Michael win? Yes, they they, they won, won the last eligible year uh, in the previous round. So I tell you, them they had the opportunity to win back to back. They were the only people that could have ever won back to back. And that's that's and they were why, close to winning back to back. By the way, does that make my win better or less? Because they won before the reset year. Oh, it makes it better. Does it? Yeah, it does. You you beat a former champion. What are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, that's true. That's true. But like. The win, like the quality of the win. Like if you won pre reset year, it's like you were just like raw, unfiltered. <laughs> you got lip to it first, essentially. Yeah, that's what I mean. And yeah. now it's like, oh no, we can let Ryan win this year. Uh, I was just talking to Andy about how like it gets so it's gotten so, you know, intense with all the production and the cutting and, right. and you can't just do like a full song anymore. In fact, if you do a full song, people are like, You were up there too long. You know, like like that's kind of the, the yeah. idea. So you know so the Level of production you're saying yes. is stopping new people from coming. I, in. I mean, I think so because I think a lot of people come to the show and what they love about it is how intense it is. But then also, I, I'm like, you should do something next year, and they're like, I couldn't possibly do get it. the scale of. It and is, I'm like, it is a lot. I mean, like my first year, I was just gonna do one song, and then, weirdly enough, you bullied me out of that, um, oh, yeah. and then you forced me to do so two. So it was John. So it's actually John so it's that's doing it. John's doing it. So oh, John okay. is his own worst nightmare. No. Okay, yeah, but I, I was trying to save you from that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, from like, being embarrassed. No, not embarrassed, but I'm saying like... From doing a bad job. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, no, not yeah. at all. But, then it, but then it turned into, oh, you can't just do songs now. Now yeah. it has to have a storyline. Now story it needs line. to be a yeah. full air yeah. band. And now, right, are you, right. it is a full air band now. Yeah. And now it's like, okay, well, what, what's, what's your, your story? story? And what's your costuming? And what's your yeah. backup dancers? Yeah. What Every, I will say about you, Annie, yeah. is that when your first year, when you when you were setting it up, I was like... I don't know how this is going to go over. Like in the back of my head, I was like, this, your songs, your cuts were like a little long, but then you went up there and you fucking sold it. Yeah, like, you nailed it. I was like, nailed it. I was, like, I was Parton, so right? wrong. So good. I was yeah. so wrong. Like, I was like, anybody else would have, it would have flopped, but you like sold it. And everybody was like, Annie was so, and I was like, yeah, she was. She fully like pulled it off. I was completely wrong on that. That was my, my infamous popping of my boobs. Yeah. That was crazy. So awesome. <laughs> that was honestly top, <laughs> like a, top five lip sync moments for me. I had a cuticle cutter in my back pocket yeah. and I had <laughs> so tan good. balloons. It was so good. That I used as Dolly Parton's boobs, and then it transitioned iconic. to Miley Cyrus, and I popped. <laughs> so iconic. Yeah. And that was the year that you got gypped because Dallas and Jesse surprised. Oh, yeah, that was surprised Bobby. Yeah, surprised, yeah. Bobby. <laughs> yeah, surprised <laughs> Bobby. 
that still is Because me and Carrie were in that. At John's birthday lip sync battle. Friends, Bobby. Technically, I've won. Yeah, uh-huh. technically, yeah. I yeah. was in one. Oh, okay, technically one. Carrie, you've been probably. Yeah, I think yours season. is yours Whose is name a freaking they call? killer this year. Listening to the part I did, I think you're freaking gunning for a win this year. It's gonna we'll be a good wow, one. Gonna wow. See. We're really pitting woman against woman a, right here. I need a it's woman to win. Four women. I need a I need a woman to win. What do you mean? Period. Period. Beth won. Beth won. Oh. A long time also, ago, Jesse and and also a long Jessie time ago, Jesse's sister. It's been a it's been a sausage fest ever since. Yeah, yeah, wow. I would say oh, so. Oh. I would agree. Oh, hey Arthur. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Hi, buddy. He was like, you guys left me alone up there. <laughs> oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh yeah, hey, he's hey, really hey, hey, hey. he's really going crazy right now. Lay down, uh, Arthur. For the audio listeners. Arthur, the podcast dog, yeah, is uh, a crazy well. He just came in. He he's first done. of all, he's fully he's Jurassic parked the door. He absolutely opened the door by himself. He is fully wrapped up there in a go. quarter inch cable. We yeah, fixed stop. him. We fixed there him. There we go. Stop. Oh, stop. Stop. He's so stop. Cute. Stop. Hi, buddy. He's so cute. Wow. Okay, so that that was lip sync. I mean, that's us on lip sync. Us on uh, lip sync. Listen, if you don't know what we're talking about, somehow you jumped to episode 190 <laughs> of what the podcast with no context um first of all thank you i can commem- i commemorate that first of all thank you and uh why don't you go back in the backlogs um yeah let's see so There's a year a ago that would have been episode like one 130 and yeah, then maybe like go even further episode like you know 60 yeah um, we used to do a live stream a couple of live week. streams and yeah uh, it just wasn't in the cards for us but uh <laughs> no it's just so much I mean, what we have here is so nice. Like, yeah. having to do a live yeah. stream is um, so different. In the studio. In the studio. And then next week, tune in for us to tell you what happened at Lip Sync. True. Oh, yeah. 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 Any predictions? Who wins. Any predictions? Um, I think... A woman. I, I Listening to... I think it's either going to be Kara or I. A right. woman. Yeah, I think it might be you. you think I think it might be you. Two, you, think, we think, you think we have two potential winners. Right yeah. here on this couch. On the couch. Yeah. I think because you both are really... Like coming out gunning for it. Like you've got good stories. Yeah. You've yeah. got as somebody that's worked on both. Thank as you. Somebody on the production side. Who's worked on as somebody that conceptualized both. Thank you. <laughs> um the, yeah, you're just doing really well. I can't it's wait. all gonna be up to the graphics that I do tonight. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah I need the to graphics some, are gonna hey, make or break I it. I need to add some graphics, so <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so you better get on it. <laughs> yeah, actually Any, I need graphics too. I've got my own stuff to work on, so <laughs> you can't win. Shut also up. the opening number for not about winning. I know. Oh yeah. Freaking A man. Yeah, you gotta work on that too. I know. You know what? But what we can do what's nice is when we have rehearsal. You can kind of send it out that day and be like, we're going to do this today. Yeah. And we can learn it that night. What's True. really nice is it's all fake. <laughs> yeah. So we can <laughs> do as much or as little as we want. It's a party for John's yeah. birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, John. But it's serious, too. So Yeah. yeah. Guys, this no, has been the summer is. of fun. Is yes. It, it definitely has. It full summer vibes to the point where I've been all, all over my social media. is like, is everyone else like reliving their 90s nostalgia summer? Yes. And I was like. I, really? I fully am. I will say we've been hinting at the um, summer bingo cards, but I've been seeing them, Annie, ever since you brought it up. Like you had me make one. I've been seeing a lot of the summer bucket lists the on list TikTok. The back in the day. I've been seeing other people do bingo cards and everybody's out there like really doing summer. You know what I think it is? Go ahead. I think that the rest of the world is so sad right now. Yeah. Like yeah. The, our politics are sad. The, you know, there's like unrest in so many countries yep. you know china yep. and the north, summer escape north korea are gonna team up but like it is so sad Russia every time i see a protest i see new like countries added to yep. the like there's a huge conflict going on in the congo there's like civil war yeah. and i'm like oh okay like yeah add it to the add it to, to the, the shit shell <laughs> yeah add it to the it dumpster to the fire show. you know where else there's a little bit of new unrest okay not as severe okay okay, okay. Barcelona. Oh, oh really? what? Yeah, actually, people, I saw this too. There are people who live in Barcelona who are going to popular sure. tourist places mm. and spraying them with water guns. Yeah. They're, saying, tourists, 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 get out, get they're out. They're like protesting tourism mm-hmm. by what? like going to famous places and like shooting them with water guns and stuff. Really? And yeah. I'm like, why would they do? Isn't that where a lot of the like the money comes from? Is tourism? That's no? how I feel. Yes. Barcelona is like a huge tourist spot for not just like Americans, but like okay, let's all stop greater Europe going too. to Barcelona and s- see what happens. Deal. Like, like, do you think let's boycott Barcelona? <laughs> I just don't get like I'm not going tour- there anymore. Tourism is like what 
keeps a lot of those, yeah. you know, countries. But also, like, tourism drives out locals. It's it's the same with it's Hawaii. It's a two headed snake. It's yeah. the same with the Hawaiian natives. It's very split in the middle. Of Where we need, need we it. need the flipping tourism to stay yeah. alive, and then the others being stay off of our land because the tourists come they decide they want to buy a vacation they want home, decide they want to live and there. then they're skyrocketing the price of living and or the people the, who actually oh. live there can't afford to mm -hmm. live there or at the very least they come in they disrespect the culture they trash yes. the place and then they leave and they're like yeah. oh 10 out of 10 instagram yeah yep. you know okay so I, agree, I, agree. I think um i think it's crazy to like be protesting like that it's not really something you protest it, if anything you would like petition your government to be like hey Make policies like or yeah, something, yeah or give everybody you know tax breaks during summer season or like help oh, out it's a great idea actually you know clean up the freaking um whatever i don't know you know yeah. like yeah. clean up more programs to clean up the streets like, or like in high traffic areas hire people to, to kind of manage some of the, the problems you, you would have, think if there's such an influx of money, money coming right? in yeah, yeah that's true. like Put it to good. You, what else is it going? It's gonna go go line everybody's pockets. Like for yeah, what? Probably. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I get it. I mean, um, I get it now. I... yeah. So De Barcelona, I wouldn't say is on my bingo card this summer, but um, we've been knocking them down. Yeah, certainly. you're going to Europe soon. <laughs> We're going a couple places before that. Yeah, we are. Whoa. Where certainly. are you guys going? Yo, so many. Yo, so many. Oh, nice. John. Big into camping. You three are going? Yeah. And uh, nice. a young Aaron Corbet, this is a, Olivia Tafoya. This nice. is an at Aaron Corbet uh, project. Oh, Aaron. it is. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Got it. Got Aaron it. was going to join us on our Europe trip and then decided not to and then turned around and booked a camping <laughs> trip. And I was, you know, which I love. Like, I love, like, <laughs> substituting in, you know. When is Yosemite? The vibes. That's in uh, August. late August. Late August. Got it. Nice. Very nice. The hot time. Yeah, it's probably. Hopefully, the yeah. tourists have, the hot time. have subsided a little bit by late August. Hate yeah. Tourists. Hate tourists. Hate Boycott tourists. Them. Let's <laughs> spray, with let's spray them with water guns <laughs> while we're there. Honestly, they might like if that. We, if if we see so any hot. tourists while we're there. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's pretty funny. That's, That's pretty funny. funny. That's pretty good. Let's spray and where them else? With water gun. Yosemite, Europe. Are you Yosemite. Going to Hawaii this, uh, this speaking of Hawaii, going yes. Going to Hawaii. Going to Hawaii for a couple days. Nice. Dude, I. I'm telling you. End of July. Your are your parents aren't Couple retired yet. My your dad, dad's retired. My dad's kind of semi. Yeah, he still works. And your mom is like working, yeah. but like she's got two like, more years. Mentally speaking, she's yeah. like two more years. Checked and she's out. done. She's done. Yeah. Yeah. See, something happens to your parents when they retire, and I'm like, I hardly see my parents anymore. Yeah, that's they're, how my parents yeah. are. They're like Jim and Robbie. Mm -hmm. That's true. They they spent uh, Mother's Day and Father's Day away from you this year. <laughs> yeah, it turned out they hate me. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm going like, oh to get texted them listening to this and say, Annie, we don't hate Annie, you. we actually love you. We're sorry. Yeah, we're I call listen. bullshit on that. <laughs> 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 no, but they're they're traveling fiends. They're going to New Zealand this year or next Whoa. year. Whoa. Yeah, New Lord Zealand. of the Rings. Good for them. I, on a cruise. I said, who are you? They're like, That's we're amazing. retired. Oh, yeah. Zealand. John, I went to Yosemite for the first time back in 2017. Yes. And I haven't shut up about it since. I've been telling everybody about it. Like, Yosemite's so great. Yeah. I love camping there. I love going in the river. And my parents were like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, whatever. My dad's like, I've been there. It is great. Um, they went on a trip like a month ago. Went <laughs> camping. And it was like they discovered <laughs> the Holy no Grail. Way. They were like... You guys, you Yosemite, go Yosemite is great. And I'm like, <laughs> like no, I you. know. Yeah, you want to hear this? They booked another trip uh, the same time Transition. that we're going to be there. I keep forgetting all the buttons. Yeah, they're also going to be there. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. My dad's like, so yeah, so we're going, um, I think it's like the 18th or something. I'm like, okay, so we'll be there <laughs> the next day. He's like, oh yeah, like you'll totally be there. Like You can hang out with us. You can hang out with us? That's no. yeah. Got well, a that's campsite. That's fine. We'll send up all of our Shut stuff yeah. with them. Got a campsite in housekeeping Again? on the river. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, so there's just like a nice campsite. So, there's so just we like, could have booked it. Well, it was whatever. I, you know, all right. I'm not going to get in the weeds. I'm not going to start like ratting around this trip, you know? Yeah, it's Aaron's trip. It's, it's do that. the Aaron Corbet experience. Well, so that's Corbet good. Experience. Then we'll go hang out at their campsite. Roast up their weenies. Roast up their weenies. Bring stuff down, roast up their weenies, and then we'll just go sleep at our campsite. Perfect. Tell them to bring extra food for you guys. Say, hey, we're going to be there. So. Yeah, hey, Say, so bring how like about this? Dad, how about this? seven or eight more orders of uh, French toast. Camp yeah. up their campsite. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's Annie. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to go ratting around the trip. The point is, is when your parents retire, 
you know, they, they're just like kids again, man. They just Truly. go off. You yeah. never see them again. My parents will t- send me t- like pictures. They're like, we went on a bike ride today. Ugh. Like, They've do you now think we'll me? ever get to retire, or do you think we'll work to? I think we'll work. I until think we die. I'm going to die long before I hit retirement age. Well, yeah, I know that's your whole. Well, I'm decaying. So I don't think rapidly. there technically is a retirement age now. I'm. Mm. I you know? I think I'm going to go take that even further and say that I've seen a lot of videos on TikTok. Um, <laughs> people, we did that. We did that as this well. sentiment of. You know, screw retirement. Like you might not make it. Like yeah. live now, spend your money now. Yep. Oh, take yep. your vacation now. That makes sense. You know, like why are you saving your money now? Sure. Just use it sure. now. Like life is happening around. Yeah. You. Life is happening. What around. do you think? Well, what do you guys think the about generation that? Generation that's like, you're not gonna have social security. Just yeah. remember, we're gonna use it all. <laughs> totally. <laughs> okay. I will say Annie is aging pretty rapidly. She threw her back out I again. Threw her back out. Crazy. Making a bed. Yeah. Oh, Annie. And I think there's something wrong. I think with you. no. I think my worst it. story was yeah, I threw probably. my back out reaching off on a top shelf to get peanut butter. By the butter. way, I don't think I've oh. I think I've thrown yes. my back out maybe once. I I've almost never oh, done it's, it. It's so once, debilitating. Once you brag about once it, once you do it, it's easier to retweak it, dude. We're out here. <laughs> you freaking reach the wrong way. And We're out here like, exerting ourselves. You know when you move your you, neck wrong. Have you thrown your back out? And you get that like I have certainly that like hot neck like ow. Yeah, that like neck thing. I like your back. back. I feel like how many times recently? Oh, on the regular, not like seriously on the regular. I think seriously probably once every couple months. Once every couple months. Yeah, for what? But I wake up with back pain all the time. Yeah, really? Yeah, absolutely. I the first time I truly threw my back out, I was house sitting for you guys. Maybe it's something about house sitting. Yeah, and I threw it out. For you, definitely picking up a piece of trash. (laughs) I like bent down too quick to pick up a piece of trash. And she fell at an event. Back up. Was no, it? and I literally just popped back up, and I was like, "Oh!" oh. Like there I was felt just this, trash like, all over our house. You were like, "No, oh. it was it was Gotta at an event." Oh, okay. And then by she, the time it like slowly develops, like the moment you throw your back out, it's God. like, "Oh, oh gosh, that that hurt." Yeah. And then by the next day, you're like, "I can't move. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> Sorry, I second. can't get up. Oh my gosh." <laughs> ah, ah. My it mom threw her back out pushing a table at work, like 20 years ago, oh, and nice. slipped a disc. <gasps> and ever since then, it's like well, it's and been I think awful. maybe what that's what fuck? I did. Maybe uh-huh. I slipped a disc, and now it just so how is that a place? So disc. where are the discs? <laughs> in, your the discs? in your spine, your spine is made up of the discs. Yeah. I was just thinking about that's that. Right. I've heard that phrase a ton, and I don't even know what it means. Your discs are it's your, your cartilage, spine, and then it's in between like, your um, and they're things, and it's made in a way that they can slip. They can slip out a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Like slip out, like that way. Yeah, it's the cartilage in between all your vertebrae. And if they get like positioned wrong, uh-huh. it can like move. And then part of and your then spine your is bones, right? Yeah. Are like grinding up mm-hmm. against each other. Oh, that's yeah. horrible. And then it's pinching your sciatica. Yep. Oh, wow. Dang. Which is the nerve that runs along your back down your spine. Sciatica. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that's on medical information. Right. So, I mean, you retire, <laughs> you retire at the age of, um, you know, whatever, 60. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, well, of course. Our kids nowadays, are going to live a long time. Oh, nowadays, you think time. you're not working until 106? <laughs> you're, guys, you're living to 200 now. Yellow We're going back into the Bible bones. times. Five hundred years get? old. Another day older and deeper. Yeah, how did those people live that long? Peter, don't you call me? They didn't have preservatives. Go. They were gluten free. Yeah, but there's also natural selection. Uh, oh my natural soul selection. To the company. You mean like store. I think maybe Accidents. they just in translation yeah. the time frame got messed up. I am just gonna Freaking tell you people natural who got, selection. had to get wisdom teeth taken out that killed them back Honey, in the day. Natural selection, not a Bible thing. It's an evolution thing. There you go. It is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Natural selection. Yeah. But you know what's, what? you know what's crazy? Catholic you, you know what I think some of it goes into, though? I was... We, I agree. I agree with you. <laughs> but I'm sa- I'm saying, like, it does... Like, if we're talking Old Testament logic here, you know, guys were living to 500 years old. They were also, like, you know, re- re, uh, also, reproducing with angels and stuff, so... We yeah, talked about it. I guess. It. We okay. talked about Goliath. it a little bit. Oh, go ahead. I'll let you do your thing. Yes, this is this our is, theology podcast. This is for Thank Jacob you. Nichols. Okay, go ahead. I started listening to this podcast he recommended yeah. about Sasquatches. Go. Go. Oh, okay, no. go ahead. And she the whole thing podcast on our mm-hmm. podcast. Again. <laughs> no, stop. Yeah. This Every is week. for Jacob. Yeah. Freaking... Jacob would love this. Yeah, guess but what? Jacob, you can text him. And then Jacob and I had this whole conversation <laughs> where he was talking about how people believe that Sasquatches are the like creation of humans reproducing with angels. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that oh. they think that's what they the are. The angels are furry. There's a, no, there's the just, angels are furry. I love those videos, the um, biblically accurate angels. And it's like oh, a bunch of tentacles and eyeballs and they're stuff. They're terrifying. That's hilarious. They look like demons. Anything else you want to say to anybody that you could text just really quick that watched the show? Yeah. Hey, John. <laughs> Screw yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Birthday is over. <laughs> He shit and die. I was going to say, I, yeah, she wrote that in my card. I was going to say um, that I think we talked about this, but Jordan's grandpa's like grandpa or whatever uh-huh. said, th- th- like growing up, he was like, oh yeah, grandpa lived to 110. And then like he went and did like a, you know, what are those genealogy? Uh, yeah, it's a website or whatever. But, Ancestry. Yeah, ancestry.com. And he found out that no his, swab. his grandpa like died at like 92. He was just lying about his age. <laughs> he just lied about it. <laughs> And That's I'm like, hilarious. I, I, I said, I'm going to do that at some like, point. I'm when it becomes I'm hard to verify, I'm just going to start adding I mean, a couple of years every so often. sounds like add a decade. 92. <laughs> live to 110. I don't know what? the exact numbers, but yeah. it, it was just like this. It, my grandpa was like, yeah, our whole life we grew up thinking like, yeah, grandpa lived to 100 and whatever. I mean, and, and then all of a sudden he like looked it up at, at probably like 70 years old. I mean, he, he did genealogy kind of, you know, a couple, like 20 years ago. He started doing it. He found out that his grandpa was just lying. <laughs> it was well, so awesome. it could have been like, I mean, irony is lost in time, right? Like we, grandpa wasn't around to be like, no, it was a bit guys. Like they just wrote it down. On the yeah. genealogy I just think thing, we like, need to be doing that. That's what I've learned in my last year of life. We need to be doing that more, like the whole like writing a dirty excerpt in your in your journals, just uh, randomly. Yeah, so like that, hilarious. So smut. funny. You know what I'm saying? Random Could you just imagine? Did you just look at Kara when you said that? What do you? Yeah, well, it's a whole thing. That was all about pointed Kara. to me. Yeah, it was her. That was all pointed to she, me. We, we, we told Kara to write that. a random smut page. I've been telling Kara to do that for years. I'm writing code. No, I'm saying you need to get really. Detailed on a it. random on day, a random you just Tuesday, and then just keep writing. Yeah, and I hope, and it'll be a good test because if your grandkids or, or great grandkids ever read it, you'll know that they're actually, you know, I'm actually gonna do it for you. <laughs> the best is if it ever gets published, like Anne uh-huh. Frank's diary or something like that, Kara's <laughs> diary, and it's just that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Anne Frank's diary because I went through the same thing. I was gonna Anne say Frank. something traumatic has to happen to Kara for them to. Hey, there's still yeah, time. I, She's only I read those diaries. That's true. She's only twenty eight. Um, the book I'm reading right now. God. The main character literally goes into a spiral <gasps> because she starts reading her mom's journals oh. and the last of like six years of journals and it stops the year that she gets pregnant with her. <gasps> and I was like, sad. That's going to happen to us. That's going to happen to you. Kara. I stop writing when I get pregnant. So what is, so what do you I don't infer? think kid one, kid one, you'll still write kid two. You're done. Yeah, you're what, done. It, what, like, what you're do you done. infer by that? Like she lost her will to write when she had a kid. Like she lost her spark. Life changed. Yeah. Is that the point Life of the changed. book? Well, the whole thing in the book is about that her anymore. the diary entry, the like last couple diary entries are like, I'm pregnant. I'm 22. I had a whole plan. Oh, it's wow. so weird. She's oh, like, like my life is, she literally ruined. is like, I'm supposed to go to Europe. I'm supposed to run this resort, all this <sighs> stuff. I'm pregnant. Um, whoa, whoa. my boyfriend left me cause oh. he was surprised. I wanted to keep the baby and oh. the, the entries just stop. Oh. So the daughter's like, I had a journal like that. Wah, wah. But you got someone pregnant and then you left them. That's kind of <laughs> no, fucked. I was 2020. I like started journaling every day and then COVID happened and I was like, stopped. I'm done. Like I'm literally done. Oh, I don't want any because every entry was like woke up, watched twelve hours oh, of my TV, COVID entries went are to bed. Crazy. They're did so we, boring. Did we talk on this podcast? What Jesus, was what was that? We'll find out later. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You know what it is? Uh, there's. I won't get into it. it doesn't okay. Matter. It's fine. Okay. Um, I know what this. It is. <laughs> This podcast is crazy. Go check it out. You couldn't hear it on the podcast, but there's a giant bang upstairs and no one's upstairs. Okay, then that I knocked um, over. That um, one's on me. Um, um, and guys, then Annie knocked over a uh, picture. I think it's haunted. Um, <laughs> did we talk about how Fauci had come out and said that? We, we did, basi- unfortunately. Yeah, we basically messed up COVID. Actually, that oh, might yeah. have been off podcast. I think it was off podcast. I think it was just us. That's but Dr. Rough. Fauci has come forward and said that. We basically we messed up and oh, we should yeah. have reopened two months after closing. That kids should have been back in school. And that, he was talking about specifically the schools. Yeah, that we're going to face like the bars. repercussions of keeping kids out of school for a long time. generations. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He, he basically was like, we really messed up. We fumbled the bag. Yeah. Which honestly, though, but like we talked about how school is kind of a scam. Right? The kids who missed <laughs> all of it. I don't I don't think the, elementary. the kids who missed think... school. I feel school. like. <laughs> 
the kids that I, that I have seen are just like how they would have turned out anyways. No. 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 Culture, no culture way. sets really? so much, Kara. Are you kidding me? Like yeah. the kids going to school is like, if they don't have that, what do they have? Like go but on phone. But now they're back in school and now it's back to normal. No. Dude. If you t- talk to any sit teacher down. who taught before COVID and after yeah. COVID, they will testify that Sit down that with Laura this awful. weekend and ask her how school's going. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. yeah. My mom will tell you. She's... COVID has destroyed I, children. I, f- yes, ending that. I, I went down this whole rabbit hole of like people on TikTok talking about media literacy. Have you heard this? Mm-mm. There's this whole movement where like people don't understand like the basically the like the context of any piece of art anymore like you know how when you watch you know how when you watch the office and like michael scott is like that's what she said i've only watched it one okay you okay i'm i'm trying to relate to something you understand the office you know the office yes um and michael scott's like that's what she said Uh and like you know that it's funny because he's a tool not because he said that's what she said yes but there are people you know in your English class that are like, huh, huh, that's what she said. Right? Like yeah. Michael Scott. Like we both like The Office. But you have the capacity to be like, no, that that's media literacy. Oh, right? Okay. Understand? Got it, got it. People on TikTok are like, you know, nobody has media literacy anymore. Nobody knows who the good guy is. Like nobody knows who to root for. Oh, We're really? so broken and like chronically online that we don't really understand TVs and movies anymore. Jeez. Young people, I should say. That- Scary. The that just back. means they're not watching a show from the start. No, it just means that you're not you're watching something and you're taking away the wrong thing from it. That's just stupidity. I think uh, no, I think that's no, that's like, lack of media literacy is what I'm saying. So I think yeah, I think stupidity. TikTok and like these short form contents are, are like are like ex- the reason some of the reason why you know like because we're frying because we our... hear something and we're like oh it's from that video and it's like no that's are actually they not from having a different Socratic thing. seminars anymore? No, they're not. They're not even reading, dude. Dude, they're not and writing. That's, and people are like, okay, the the big kicker to close that loop is when people are like, they should really teach media literacy in school. It's like. No, bitch. That's English class. <laughs> that's English class. Like, cr- like critical thinking. Uh, like you thinking that you know Jay Gatsby is the good guy in that. What was like? The, oh, he's goals. Hashtag goals. What was the chart that you had to like fill out after you read a book? Uh huh. And it was like, it was just the line, and then the lines oh. down, and you had to fill out each oh. section. Is it like what happened and like what it means yes. or something? Yeah, like, like what the happened, significance what it of means, that thing. what it could be. Oh, oh it was what like col- college notes. It was like college something. Prep notes? College prep notes, yeah. Yes. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah and the top notes. was like a, like a summary of what happened. Yes. And then oh you had to do like, my yes. gosh, I yeah. forgot about that. And then that. on the Unlocked. side, on the sides was like an over like an overwhelming uh, yes. like and thing. Yes, so and you always went back and in the little boxes. Yeah. Yes. That wow. as well. That no, I, I went on a date with a guy who works at a school and we were talking about he works at a middle school. And we were talking about, I was like, I don't want to be rude, but like, do kids know how to read? And he goes, you're not being rude. They don't. Like, he's like, a lot of kids, because at home, they're on like iPads. And he's like, Uh they're getting a lot of information. Their vocabularies are big because they're hearing a lot of things, but they're not reading. They're watching. They're listening. Like, he's like, it's crazy because we'll have them like try to read out loud and they can't. Yeah. And it's so obvious that they go home and they watch YouTube and they, you know, watch whatever, but they're not actually reading. He's like, and we try to tell parents like, make sure they read, but their attention spans are so short that they can't read. Yeah. Uh, That's just bad parents. Absolutely. But it's the vast majority. And I think two things like one is like, I feel like on TikTok, how often is like text on the screen, but it's also like speaking the same text. It's like, I can't believe this happened. Like the little robot voice. Yeah. So like, are they actually reading on those things? And I, mean, I feel that like we all took computer classes. Yeah. Right? Right. And typing now that typing now that the Internet and that iPads and everything is so all over the place. Like, I feel like that's probably. Well, what's crazy is I feel like, like, like now they would have like a typing speed test for like a touchscreen keyboard. I mean, maybe. Just, but maybe know? they're just like. Well, you know, kids, no, kids are so from a young age they're on their phones. Like we don't need to teach them how to use a kids computer. Get, they like, get it. They get Chromebooks when they're well, computers. In yeah, grade. computers they? now. They computers tablets, now yeah. are tablets and iPads. Every kid that goes into public education gets a Chromebook at like at like first or second grade. It's literally like that quick. Oh yeah, which is crazy are they teaching them how to use it? Like well, yeah, yeah they get them on from it. first yeah. grade. They, they do like lessons on them. 
but not a computer. That's where they do. Not that's where typing. they do all of their math homework. That's where they do like everything is online. They do not give out sheets. Yeah, There's that no would see that would have ruined me. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, hundred <laughs> percent. No, this isn't like a, necessarily a great correlation. But remember, last night my little nephew was like, he had these sunglasses on. Uh huh. And I was like, oh, where'd you get those? Thinking he's gonna say like, oh, from grandma or something. He goes from Amazon. <laughs> yeah, how, how like, old your nephew? This generation is so dope. He's oh, four. Cooper yeah. literally after like bath time, Amazon. he'll go up and go, Lexa, yeah, Lexa, yeah. He, the, Lexa. the boy's two. The boy two. He goes Lexa, 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 Lexa. crazy. Lexa. crazy. Connor will go, Alexa, play Crazy Frog. <laughs> yeah, that so, is so, so crazy. Lexa. Lexa, things are I mean, changing, man. Things are and changing. And there's that scary movie that's coming out, that AI one. Oh God, <laughs> afraid. <laughs> Oh yes, so yes. I'm gonna have to go see it. So it looks stupid. so dumb. And it's but basically we're gonna have to see a, it. it's basically smart ho- or smart house yes. from Disney yes. Channel plus Alexa. Yeah. I yeah. I constantly think that we grew up in the perfect like transition period where uh-huh. like we had technology, but it was at like an age where I thought like we could process it. You know, like I still remember because it came out so not slowly. having a cell phone. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying kids nowadays yeah. they have a cell phone at like. You know, nine and ten, and it's like they don't have any formative memories. Nine and of ten, like not yeah. having Six. a cell phone. You yeah. know? Dude, I technology is so smart these days. I miss dumb technology. Yeah, yeah true. I miss dumb technology, and that's Saps. why I'm working towards dumb technology. <laughs> I bought a 2001 Toyota Sienna. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. Also. Let me tell you some of the features. Transition. Thank you. Uh, let me tell you some of the features that my dumb car has. Love yeah. it. A tape deck. Hell yeah. <gasps> Are you Hell kidding yeah. me? Gonna listen to tapes? I'm gonna cut you a tape. I'm gonna pop my Peter oh my gosh, Gabriel. We can finally you make him a mixtape. Oh my god. How do you even make a tape? With a tape recorder. Anymore. A tape recorder. Oh, yeah. You put it up, you put it up next to the boom box. I have and one. you wait till you turn on the radio, you wait till the song you want okay. comes on. You record. miss the first couple seconds of it, but you press record. You have you to know, listen you to know the when song. When we first Done. had phones awesome. and we had to record Done. what we wanted our ringtone to be. Yeah. It was on like the that. radio, you're like, Mom, turn Dumb it on. Mom, turn yeah. it on. Come on. Um, so it has the tape deck and CD player combo. Did you yeah. drive it here today? I'll be also accepting no. CDs. Mix you CDs. Need to we're, we're getting what tires the? tomorrow. New, t- new tires tomorrow. John, this weekend, lip sync battle, I'll drive it out. I need to see it. Thursday, I'll drive it out to Tech Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you. What? Oh. I want to come in it. I wanna, you you want to yeah, You want a carpool? Drive, yeah. You want a carpool? <laughs> yeah. I want to drive in your... Yeah, the golden carpool. nugget because Done. it also smells like a casino. <laughs> uh, not anymore. Got it detailed. Well, it'll probably always have the funk. It just smells yeah. kind of funky. It'll always now. have that just little faint... Just a little... little just a little wave. Vegas. <laughs> um, let's see. What else does it not have? Uh, backup camera? No backup camera. Well, no, course, no aux cord. No, no I did have input. to get. You know what's great? The tape, tape decks aux cord. The tape decks mm-hmm. aux cord. My dad had yes. one of those. Amazon still has it. Amazon got all that stuff. Where'd did you, get you have it? a CD player? Amazon. 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 <laughs> yeah, CD, CD in there. Yeah, CD player. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm accepting uh, mixed CDs as well. Oh, good. I'll, I'll pull player. out. I have some buried deep in the archives of Annie's yeah. Live. Thank you. Um, that Thank are you. like from you know. We used to do like every every birthday party. You would make a mixtape to yes. give out as like you know a parting gift for all your friends. Oh, Very so nice. good! Oh yeah, no, I was. I have. I still have my little he book made of them. So perfect. I made so <laughs> many he didn't label CDs. any of them. <laughs> no, that's, all that's, that's, uh, okay. that's simply uh, not CD true. Roulette. That's simply not true. CD roulette. You remember when it was like new technology that the CD player was in the like center console where you could load like six of yes. them. Yes. Uh huh. And you put that thing in the center console. My mom's Explorer had it. My bug was a six CD changer in the trunk. In the so trunk, cool. you had to go and put them in. That was funny. Yeah. I'm still in search of the CD player that like holds a hundred CDs. Oh. Yeah. You ever yeah. seen that? You've seen it. I don't know. It like spiral. It, it holds oh, them all yes. in there and it spirals <gasps> uh-huh. and then it like takes it out and it like puts it in and it plays the CD. I mean, that's like, like pre, a... pre-Spotify, but like that's all your music, right? Imagine oh. having all your CDs just like preloaded and, it, and, oh. th- and there's a remote that has all the numbers on yeah. it. Why am I yeah. forgetting the freaking name of a yeah, record boombox a record boombox? Uh, uh, jukebox. Jukebox. Hey, Jesus jukebox. Christ. I love the jukebox. <laughs> it's like a jukebox. I'm, choose the number. Yes, yes. I'll always be like romantic over physical media. Yeah, I love like yeah. all that stuff. My dad, like half jokingly, half kind of serious, is like he has a, all these CDs, like uh-huh. boxes. And remember we hung them up on the old studio yes. wall. We, and, yes. But that's, that's probably a fifth of what he has on that wall. Oh, I got to go through it. And he... He's like, I'm keeping all my CDs because you know when 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 Spotify crashes, yeah. and you guys can't have or Apple he's Music crashes. Right. He's, he's like, right. I'm gonna have all my CDs. See, I and take, this is gonna be the way. I take all of my CDs and I put them into my iTunes. 
Yeah. Oh, interesting. Just in case. It's it's kind of dramatic. So I'll always have but stuff on my phone. Kind of right. Yes. yes. Do you remember? Um, this is kind of a piece of news here. Do you remember the car thing? Spotify, Spotify. released this oh, device, yes. and it was just it would play Spotify, and it you could plug strange. it into a little yes. aux cord, and it was called the car thing. Yeah. Um, as of like a month ago, a couple weeks ago. Spotify released a statement saying that not only are they stopping production of it, they're not yep. going to sell them anymore. They're bricking all of them. Yeah. So they're not going to, if you have one, it's not going to work after like August 1st or something. Why? I one. Because they're, they're not going to like support it anymore. They're not going to, that is crazy. Because they, because all of those servers wild. and stuff, wild, right? Yeah. Can you imagine? They How also, much were they? They, were like gonna they were like 80 day? bucks. They were 80 bucks. No refunds. Yeah. Saying, sorry, done. That's well, it crazy. was, I think it was a big trial run. It was, I don't it's think been they, out for years. It's been out for, for a while. like a year and a half. No, oh, it's been no. out for longer than that. But it dude. came out for like pre-order, yeah. like Five a years trial, ago. and then I don't. I just don't think enough people used it. But I don't know why they would brick them. They stop. I watched this whole like video essay about it. They stopped supporting them after like eight months because there was like too little. But we're they're comparing it to now. See, people are selling them on eBay. Yeah, I was just talking to somebody about how like. It, or no, it's, I saw a TikTok is what it was. And this guy was saying like, oh, like when, when iTunes, you know, iTunes kind of scaling back, I, they're not completely gone, but like they stopped selling music, I think uh -huh. a while back. But, and he's like, when, if iTunes or even Spotify or any of these things decide to just take music down yep. for whatever reason, mm -hmm. he's like, it's gone. Like you can't access yeah. it anymore. You can't even like listen to it. And, and he's like, the only way you can do it is if you have like a physical you know, a CD. And That's how it went. If you buy online, if you bought um, like the download uh -huh. of it, you have that download on your computer. Unless yeah. they can somehow corrupt that file. Do you remember the conspiracy that um, iTunes was erasing your some of your music to make you rebuy it? What? Did you ever hear that no. conspiracy? I never like I, I swore when when I first started DJing, the the only way to do it was like buying all the music. So I'd uh -huh. go and I'd buy like you know hundred dollars worth of. You know, music. Sure. And then I, I would go back and I swear, I'm like, I bought this song. Like, I, I, I have it. And I would go through my library and it would just be missing. And it was like, no, you gotta, you have to buy it. Like, it, it was, it was for sale again for me. Damn. And I had to rebuy it. And, and that was the whole thing is like, oh, iTunes is like subtly, it's like, that it was before AI and algorithm was a big thing. It was like iTunes is taking note of what you don't use. Yep. And they're just like erasing out of your library. And then when you do need it, say six months from now, sure. you have to go and rebuy it for 99 cents or whatever it was. It was crazy. I mean, it's again, it sounds crazy, but yeah. what's stopping them from going, okay, all Spotify artists, anyone that hosts their music on Spotify, you now have to pay like X amount per stream or whatever. It's like, Right. Not, what What are you talking about? Like, we're going to pay you even less. It's like, they've got you over a barrel. So either yes. they're hosting it, you know, either their song is on the, you know, like the Joni Mitchell thing. She pulled all of her whole catalog off of Spotify. Yep. Yeah. And that, like you said, if you don't have the vinyl, if you don't have the CD, you can't listen to it. Like, it's just gone. Or maybe somebody's uploaded it to YouTube or something. So are you saying out. that I'm allowed to now uh, buy all my Taylor Swift stuff? I'm saying that if you already have no, it all, I'm sure you what have I'm it all. saying is if Taylor Swift all. pulls all her music from Spotify, I'm going to illegally download it all for you. Got yeah, it. True. Oh, we're going to have to just outsource Lime it. LimeWire? LimeWire it. LimeWire is coming oh, back. Oh, classic. Because somebody's, somebody's got the I, MP3s. Okay, back when like Apple first started, you would uh -huh. have the iCloud email that was automatically given yes. to you. Yes. But mm -hmm. I never had like access to the email. So I was thinking about it. I was like, man, <laughs> I bought so many songs. Where did they all go? It's all attached to the like Annie to the app cloud. at iCloud. And if you ever, Jellies. if you ever oh. plugged your like iPod into <laughs> another that, computer, sure. yeah, it would be like, we are going to erase all of the music on yeah. the, your, this iPod and mm -hmm. put it, use the iTunes on this computer to put, Oh God! Do you yeah. remember like plugging in your iPod dark ages. to like resync a new playlist? Yeah, yes. and, or like you had new music um, and you plugged it plugging in. Plugging in my phone Ooh. to my computer to update what's on my iTunes. Yeah, I like have a specific playlist called Kara's iPhone, nice. and I'll put the specific songs I want on my phone. Nice. It is a freaking hassle. When it's still ever, not good. When do you ever listen to that music though? Um, every time my phone connects to my car. <laughs> And Spotify so isn't open, it immediately plays This iTunes. is my AM first lip yeah. sync. Calling back to lip sync. This Go is my ahead. first lip sync that I didn't buy the music. Oh, really? Every other lip sync, because I did my You're own crazy. soundtrack and I didn't know how to, like. You didn't YouTube to MP3 <laughs> it? No, I didn't know how to do that. Awesome, awesome. So I would just buy it's the track grab. and then I would slide it the, uh... onto GarageBand. Well, iMovie. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, That's pretty amazing. Good Annie, for you. there's something called that. YouTube to MP3. <clears throat> no, Annie, Annie, got, Annie got smart to that. Which we, I've used my entire life. We got uh, smart to it. I use YouTube to MP3, and then it stopped working, and then Todd Foy turned me on to Clip Grab. Which is like oh, the best. Yeah. It's the best. You can do the. You can you can grab clips. You can grab just the audio. Oh. And it's an application on your computer. It's bam. Oh. oh it's so I mean, nice. we would do that if we weren't. Yeah. You know, paying for music. Obviously, yeah. we pay for yeah, rights we, to the music. I pay. Well, we do sure, actually. Of course, of course, of course. Monthly. Love it. <laughs> well, well, guys. Wow. It's already over. Hey, wow, can you believe it? 45 minutes just goes by like that. Just goes like that. Um, if you can't believe it yourself and you want to hear a little <laughs> more of this podcast, I certainly can. scroll down to the bio and find that link for the Patreon. That Patreon. All right. That's going to take you to a page where you can join an elite crew <laughs> that's paying us $4 a month <laughs> to and access. And they're loving it. I'm talking. We've got the post show, which is going to be, you know, more of this shenanigans. Uh-huh. We've got some BTS. Uh-huh. We're definitely going to be uploading some vlogs this week from Lip Sync Battle. Oh. Yeah. And then, um, you know, you can just support us monetarily. We mm. did just do our first uh, merch drop. We got the keychains out to all of our Love supporters. It. Love it. Yep. Always fresh, never yeah, frozen. And got somebody new on. Jacob. Yes. Jacob Nichols. Ching. And I think we have like one more to give out if somebody wants to jump all in. Right, Patreon. Jump in. Jump in. Be a supporter. But uh, until next time. <clears throat> wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got a You're bug right? in my throat there. Yeah, sorry. Hold on, hold on one second. Bug in your throat. Guys, I am jacked. It's lip sync week. The energy is Woo! <clears throat> on the couch as always. Kara Tafoya, Annie the Scove Scoveman. Bye. I'm Ryan. I'm John. And we'll see you next week on What, what the Podcast. Love it. I love. I should have lip synced that. Artie has a rash in his ear. Yeah, you Artie's... guys really had a moment about that during the show. Yeah, it's I like saw bleeding. that. Yeah, well, he's intimate. He's dead to me. Okay, bye, Arthur. Go ahead. Die. Eat shit and die. We had, we, I had probably the most 